Several Fort Wayne high school students are cutting class, but for a good cause. Fox 55's Drew Fry explains how some Northrop students hope to inspire change within the district's dress code enforcement. Lindsay Kinnar and a handful of her Northrop High School classmates arrived at school this morning, but didn't go inside. Instead, they protested outside while wearing clothes restricted by what they call an unreasonable dress code. <laughs> We already can't show shoulders, but bra straps are a big thing, like ripped jeans are a big thing, our stomachs, literally everything that we can buy at a store is not allowed here. Several Northrop students showed up to school today intentionally out of dress code. And while some ultimately went inside with a change of clothes, others stayed out here in the rain, saying they've had enough. School, like, it's where we express ourselves, and we're here nine months out of the year, and we have, like, this is our place. Like, we're here every day, and this is our chance. And, like, we, we're just standing up now. Like, we're tired of it. Krista Stockman with Fort Wayne Community Schools says the dress code is a district-wide policy meant to encourage professionalism in the classroom. It is not about body shaming. Um, it is about wearing the appropriate attire for the environment. And so just like, you know, you wear different clothes for work versus church versus going out at night. It's no different here. She notes Northrop has new leadership, which is enforcing dress code more strictly than in the past. But Kinar argues this crackdown is only on the girls. They can either ease up on females or they can make it equal to everyone. The girls say they're not expecting an immediate policy change, but Stockman says she at least admires their efforts. We appreciate that students want to stand up for, you know, what, what they think is right and what they think is not right. Um, but we do have a dress code, and we do expect students to follow it. In Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News. Stockman says the district could review certain parts of the policy in the future, but for now, the dress code itself will stay.